Hey everybody, this is Dave Blair, and this is week three, race one of the Simpit SRS series on Assetto Corsa, and we are running in the Lotus. Now we are going to jump to Brandon Waters at the beginning of this one here. So here's Brandon Waters. He won last week, uh, week two, race two. This is our winner right here. He just went by Sean Cole on the right there. Anyway, let's see if he makes it through first turn. Boom. Got a slight touch, got kicked off, collected Doug Hawley there. So let's go back and take another look at this. It looks like he started to get a little loose right there, but he's going to have some help. So if we go now to, sorry this is a little clunky, but this is Tom Jones, the mailman. Yeah, I just got a little piece of Brandon. Brandon tried to overcorrect, and then he collected Doug Hawley there. So rough luck for Brandon Waters and Doug Hawley in this first one. And let's take a look at uh, from Doug Hawley's point of view. Now, sorry, this is a little clunky as far as switching cars. I need to, um, I wish they would put the name of the person instead of just the number of the car here. But anyway, here we have Doug Hawley's point of view. Brandon Waters gets loose, overcorrects, comes straight across, and there's nothing he can do. He gets collected. Now, Doug Hawley stays out here, and Brandon Waters... I guess he he had too much damage so he decided to go back to pit and go ahead and fix his car and take a run from there. Anyway, that was kind of the uh the main incident there in turn 1. So we'll get back on board here with me. And I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. So the next big incident happens in, uh, I guess it'd be lap two. Oh, that was um, Ricardo Mascarenas went off back here. Hold on a second. Um. Ricardo, let's see. Yep, here he is. And he just got loose. Spun out, went off. So, tough break for him there in the lap two. Now we'll get back on board from, with me here. because I will be starring in the next incident. Now by the way, that in that first corner there, um, oh yeah, here's mine. So that's what happened to me in lap two. Now I was gonna say also, and, and Tom Jones, he did apologize, um, he was in chat, so did apologize to Brandon Waters in that first incident here. And then um, we're going to break this one down a little bit because, again, I got collected by Sean Seaburn there. So that was my view of it. And then we're going to go back and take a look uh, from Sean Seaburn. And bear with me while I switch cars here. There is no elegant way to do this that I have found. Anyway, so this is Sean, Bre Sean Seaburn, who is uh, Pro Sim TNT on YouTube. If you want to watch his stream, you'll, he'll probably talk about what happened here. But yeah, he got he got tapped from behind. Again, we're going to break this down. And not totally his fault here. But yeah, um, so that behind him is Stan Donnett. We'll take a look at his view here in a second, too. Maybe we'll break this down and figure out how this incident happened. This was the worst incident of the race 
in my opinion because it affected me I'm sure Brandon Waters would disagree and say that he got the worst of it in, in uh, turn one because he did go back to the pit I stayed out um, we're gonna jump on board with Stan Donnett here and take a look and break this down a little more yeah it sucks getting taken out in the beginning of the race because it just really hurts you overall obviously so here's Stan Donnett now he just you know runs in the back of Sean Seaburn here but in his defense so I have I'm the third car up in this view and I have Stan Carr up there in front of me and um, you know I'm slowing down I'm gonna go ahead and stick to the inside I was looking at a pass here and I think that Sean Seabrin thought I was gonna come out left which I knew he was there and I was gonna stay in tight on this corner here but I think Sean Seabrin got on the brakes thinking that I was gonna pull into his line which again I knew he was there and I didn't I wasn't going to pull in his line but I think he thought I was and so he was harder on the brakes earlier so that he wouldn't run into me now Stan Donnett he wasn't um, accounting for that and ran in the back of Sean Seaburn so it wasn't totally his fault because Sean did I, I would say that Sean probably got on the brakes a little sooner but Sean thought I was gonna come over so again that's how this whole chain reaction happened and it's unfortunate but this was the second biggest event of the race then alright so we'll go back on board with me and we'll fast forward here a little bit <clears throat> so there was another incident um, and this one was about lap 11 I think so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this All right, so we're on lap 11 here, and we are going to jump to the real star of the show here, Sean Cole. So hold on, let me fast forward here, and we'll get to his little mishap here. I believe he's currently running in second at this point. He's got. Austin Oganowski there in front of him and he's running in second which is outstanding and I know that he was you know he was really psyched for this race because this was his uh, one chance at points this week because he's not going to be here for the week two so right here Austin starts pulling away and it's like uh oh what's wrong Sean he ran out of gas one, two, Tom Jones just went by him, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, just brutal running out of fuel. But he was able to coast, get in the pit, and he'll make a strong comeback. But, uh, you know, I, I, I always worry about, that's me in front of him, I always worry about running out of fuel. Um, if Out of everybody, I probably carry a little bit too much sometimes. I always, uh, I do the math, figure out how much fuel I need. And then I usually add about, I don't know, three to five extra liters or gallons, depending on what it measures in. Or a couple more ma laps than it says. I could, like if uh, a set of courses says that I can do you know 15 laps and it's a 15 lap race then I will go ahead and give myself you know until it says I can do 18 laps if I'm running a 15 lap race if that makes any sense but yeah I'm always worried about running out of fuel and I've seen it too many times to not you know give myself a little extra I remember watching one of uh, Mitchie Hoyer streams and he ran out of fuel on one of these races too so I'm not sure it was a, a sim pit race, but it was a race on a Seto Corsa. Anyway, fuel's very important. But Sean makes a strong comeback. So those were the only uh, major incidences in the race. And um, so what I'd like to do to close this one out, I think, is maybe show off 
some of these paint jobs from uh, Stan Donnett and um, I'm gonna run down I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead in the race and then I'm gonna run down um, the leaderboard and how we finished here um, so and I'm gonna do it for in reverse order so uh, let's see Brandon Waters you remember him he got spun out in the very first turn this should be Brandon Waters right here in the pink car he is going to finish 12th. So again, I just want to show off everybody's car, and we're going to go in reverse order from 12th all the way up to 1st. So that's Brandon Waters, 12th place. Then in 11th place is Dave Blair. Yep, it's me. I finished in 11th. Um, yeah, I had that bad spin out in uh, the second lap and was really pushing hard, made my way all the way back up to 11th. Uh, 10th place was Leif Helberg. Sorry, his paint did not come through. I don't know if he's got a new paint or it didn't load. But he's in a plain white car here. I think this is the way it goes when the paint doesn't load. That's Leif Helberg and he finished in 10th. Okay, 9th we had Joa Antonio. 9th place. I don't know if I like these cameras. Joa Antonio. He finished in 9th. Then in eighth, we have Stan Donnett. And he was in the uh, accident there in the second lap also, Stan Donnett. But he worked his way back to eighth. So good job by him. Okay, seventh place, we have the one and only Sean Cole. So he ran out of fuel, he was running in second, limped it back to the pits, and still was able to eke out a seventh place finish. So good job, Sean Cole. All right, and then in sixth place, we had Ricardo Mascarenas. This guy is fast. Now we saw him, uh, he spun out in that, uh, what was it, lap? two. Um, I think he actually had two spin outs in this race if I recall but still very fast guy. Ricardo Mascarenas number six. And fifth place was Owen Dinen. Dineen? I'm not sure I'm pronouncing your last name right. Owen Dineen. And again his car is all white so I don't know if his paint scheme didn't come through. But Owen finished in fifth place. In fourth place, we have Tom Jones. Tom Jones, the mailman. He finished in fourth. And I believe there was a bet or some money put on him to come in first, but I know he was pushing hard and he was ready for the race so fourth place excellent finish all right now we'll get to the top three here and in third hold on again it's not easy to cycle through this map when you're watching the replay here's your third place finisher in a bright yellow car and this is Eduardo Say Again, very fast guy, Eduardo Say. Third place. Okay, now we're looking for the second place finisher was
Austin Agonoski. Here he is. He's driving a white car. Austin Agonoski. Very fast guy. Second place finish. And then our first place finish. Let me find him. Is Ethan Dean. This is your first place finisher for week three, race one at Sebring. And we'll go ahead and stay on him. And there he is with his finish. First place, Ethan Dean. He's doing a little burnout at the end. This is the end of the race. And there's your first place finisher, Ethan Dean. Good job to him. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching the uh, highlights of the Simpit SRS series, week three, race one. Thanks for watching. Bye.